So the thing that stands out for me is I remember when the program was designed, when we designed it, it really did have the feeling it was going to be a third week right. for people who had already done the Cape Cod training program. And for whatever reason, uh, we decided, well, let's see what happens if people who haven't done the Cape Cod training program uh, come in. Would they be able to make use of it? And I think, number one, this particular class, at least from where I sat, maybe it was their seasoned coaching competency that already existed, but somehow they really, as much as any class we've ever had come in, really made use of the learning mm -hmm. and really made it their own. And so I think I have the, you have the wondering, I'll add the hope to it. My yeah. hope is that they will uh, feel the energy that comes with supporting well-developed. Mm -hmm. So instead of looking at you know looking at it optimistically, to really feel the energy that comes from both them and the client, and really run with because it, it's easy without enough support to go. You know, we all do the things we used to do. Right. So that's so, part of my. So I'm really aware in the practicums that I facilitated mm -hmm. that that was one of the main things that I focused on. Mm -hmm. That um, for whatever reason, uh, a lot of us have been trained in a model that focuses. Uh, first on what's less developed. Mm -hmm. And so even in the beginning, when they were touching on what was well developed, it would be like touch and run. Mm -hmm. And so I'm gonna sort of support your hope mm -hmm. that they had an experience this week mm -hmm. that helped them realize how important it is to sort of, as we say, fatten the figure mm -hmm. that the client has about what to, what's well developed. That really helps them know not only <coughs> what it is, but that it's important. That's right. Right? That yeah. it's important and why it's important. And if the client doesn't know, to help them understand yeah. why it's important yeah. and then sort of have them think about what might it what might it cost them. For whatever reason, what where the I then went, I guess it was when you said what you focused on. I'm sure you know we focus on things differently in a uh -huh. way and, and enough similarity right. that supported the overall theory, but the fact that there was two different people. Uh, so two things: one, how much I hope they make it their own. Absolutely. Than, than there right. is the, if there's the well, either have to do a Jackie's way or sewer. I wish we had, and that's the only time I wish we had more faculty because then they could see six different ways of doing it. So that's right. one: is I hope they make it their own. The other thing I hope they do is to, one of the things I emphasized a lot, or I tried to anyway, maybe it didn't come across, is each of them had a pretty intuitive sense when something was needed. And often they were trying to make something happen rather than notice what was happening. I agree. And the simplicity of when they could just notice what was happening and the impact, I, I really want to support them to do that, to, to work easier, not yeah. harder, right. and that fattening the moment is sometimes just so, what's your experience of that? Okay, it doesn't have to be, boy, eh, just, you know, what's that like for you? One of the uh, participants today, when they were closing down, she said, I have a feeling that you'll be able to go out and do that, and she then went, am I right? And I was so glad. That's am very I cool. right? Am I right? right? And made it to clients. So right. I really hope they'll, they'll, they'll see that they have such simple moments when they can just see what's in front of them. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah so what, when you say that, what it, remi what it reminds me of is that um, is focusing on checking if you're right versus yeah. asking what does it feel like to yes. hear that. Yes, yes, How, right. What a subtle difference yes, that is. Right. Sort of like, yeah. am I right? Like, <laughs> she it, made the client the expert. Client exactly. was the expert, the expert on, on the client, themselves. and she was the expert on the process. So we've given them a lot to do. We have. <laughs> I wonder if they'll do any of it. You know what? In the, I, I, they will. I know we're going to close this down, but uh -huh. I really hope they stay in touch with us. That's so. That goes to my one thing yeah. at the beginning yeah. is like that's actually what I yeah. that I hope because yeah. um, one I think. As teachers, it's nice to know what's happening, yeah, yeah. and then also it's actually a way of them getting support. That's right. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not a lot. It's whether it's an email or a phone call or right. something. It's like you get to 
by being in touch, you actually get support for yourself. And get support for us. Yes. And for the center. Totally. Totally. How important their energy is and all of our energy is to make the center not a rich place, but a, but a rich, rich, rich experience. Place.